Hello America, how are ya? Tom Hand here with Americana Corner. Today we're talking about the final issues that led up to our Declaration of Independence. At the end of the French and Indian War, England's treasury was depleted. To raise money, Parliament decided to tax its American colonies and enacted the Stamp Act in 1765 and the Townsend Act in 1767. Colonial officials argued that England did not have the right to levy taxes on us since we were not represented in Parliament. Tensions rose over the next few years and Parliament implemented the Intolerable Acts in April 1774, which stripped Massachusetts of many freedoms. Other colonies worried the same could happen to them. To address this crisis, Colonial leaders convened the first Continental Congress in September 1774. They decided to impose a boycott on British goods and sent King George a list of grievances and requests for relief. The King ignored this plea. The second Continental Congress was convened in Philadelphia in May 1775. After further talks with the British yielded no results, the delegates tasked a committee including John Adams, Ben Franklin, and Thomas Jefferson to create our Declaration of Independence. It was approved on July 4, 1776. America was born. So why should we understand the events leading up to the Declaration of Independence? It is important to recognize that we tried to reconcile with England. Rebellion was not our preferred choice, but our reasonable requests had been ignored. It takes two sides to resolve an issue, and the British were not willing partners. Declaring our independence and controlling our own destiny seemed the logical course to take. Until next time, may your love of country lead you.